the Myanmar government's flip-flop on whether Indian troops entered Myanmar territory have raised many questions. The government first said that there was cooperation between India and Myanmar's forces, then goes on to say there were no Myanmar soldiers in directly involved in the operation against NSC and camps uh, along the border in, with Manipur. Now, Myanmar says the operation only took place on the Indian side of the border and it will not accept any foreign action on its soil. A simple action against insurgents has changed the mindset of the full security scenario in the country. I'm not, uh, I'm not going into the detail of the event which has been briefed by military operations. Obviously because it is security sensitive. But I am going into the aspect of it creating a different mindset. So much so that those who fear India's new posture have started reacting. You know, while the government of India maintains firmly that the operations did happen inside the Myanmar, uh, inside Myanmar, and in fact, in one of the camps that have been struck, that's quite deep. It's about five to six kilometers inside. Uh, what would have happened is that subsequent to the statement by uh, Rajivardhan Rathore, subsequent to the government coming out uh, and saying that, or, or telling us, or you know, that we have gone ahead and struck these camps, then saying that you know this is a new phase of the counterterrorism policy uh, of the new government, there would have been pressure on the Myanmar's government. My, mind you, Myanmar's government is, you know, it's fighting insurgency within itself. Plus, there is a lot uh, of pressure on them from China as well. Now, one of the messages that the government of India wanted to convey when it went ahead and said uh, that we did, in, in, in fact, go inside Myanmar and have destroyed the camps is to China. The message was meant to China apart from Pakistan. Because, mind you, the government suspects that the United Liberation Front of Western South Asia, the new, new formation, the new umbrella group of the militants that have come up with the NDBFS uh, that is responsible for killing 80 tribals last year, with the NSCNK which is responsible for three killings this year, and the, uh, and the Porish Parua faction of the Ulfa and the Kantapur Liberation Organization and, and you know the KYKL and the other, other groupings that have come together. The government of India believes that this has been done or egged, uh, you know, that China is, has egged these people, nudged these people to come under one umbrella so that the resources and the area uh, of influence grows up. Now, the, it's very much possible, and that's what I'm being told or indicated by my sources, that this flip-flop that you are seeing uh, is because of pressure, perhaps because of pressure from the other side, forcing them to deny that. Because the government still maintains uh, that we did go inside and you know, uh, carry out the strikes. Today, in fact, uh, the defense minister, uh, you know, when he was here addressing our gathering, he did say that we, this, this is an indication of the change stand, the change policy on counterterrorism. But he did not comment on, on, this, on this denial. Uh, from Myanmar, he, he maintained a distance away from it. So the government of India, having made its point, I think is now going to just keep it there, keep keep the pitch there, keep the pressure there, and not uh, go, uh, you know, not try to clarify any further.